Tom and Liz are here and we're living happy lives and healthy lives. The two, they had two children, Tommy, who is now 15, and Abby, who's 11. They were surprised to learn that they were to have a third child at almost 40 years old. Benjamin was born November 11th, 2018, perfectly healthy. Just weeks after, they got unexpected news that changed their lives forever. That's when they found the lump and the whole thing just started from there. Stage 3 breast cancer is the diagnosis Liz Terhune received at an appointment meant to be a follow-up after giving birth. You know, Benjamin was sent to save mommy's life because had I not just had the baby, I may not have caught the breast cancer as soon as we did. Her grandmothers and mother were both diagnosed in their 60s and 70s. She never thought it would happen to her at age 40, just two months after giving birth. When you're going through this sort of experience, it's one day at a time. And, and that's sort of just worry about getting through today. And, and tomorrow we'll be, you know, we'll face that when we get to it. Tomorrow brought its good and bad days. Multiple doctor's appointments a week, raising three children and working full time. The most difficult of days coming a year after her diagnosis. Liz was just about to finish her chemotherapy when her husband, Tom, discovered two golf ball sized lumps on his neck. But who would ever think that it would be cancer twice? It was stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma. The cancer had spread to multiple parts of his body, including his bone marrow. He began chemotherapy a week before Benjamin's first birthday. Knowing what I had gone through and knowing now that my husband has to go through it, you know, you just wish you could take that away from him. With school, the baby, and them both going through chemo and stuff like that, it was devastating for me. One of the hardest parts for the hockey family was having to step away from the game. Tom played goalie his whole life. He taught his son the way of the game and now watches him tend the crease for Enfield High School. Even long after his son moved up from squirts to peewees and beyond, Tom stayed back to coach the next wave of youngsters. Making the announcement to the team and then sitting in the locker room, that little tiny locker room at ETR with 17 kids and 30-something parents and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Hockey families and players that Taroons have grown with over the years from early morning practices to tournaments, the camaraderie and now their generosity simply unmatched. What those families have done for us is, it's unbelievable. You, you can't, and nobody wants recognition. Nobody, nobody wants anything. They just want you to know that they're there for you. On December 12th, the Enfield Hockey Association held their annual holiday skate and coaches game. This year, it was in honor of Tom. We, we ran out of almost everything. So many people showed up when they realized it was for Tom. The idea complete surprise to Tom, who got the okay from the doctors to play. They did a, a couple like breakaways so he could really shine. Um, his son got to ref the game, which just made it all the more spectacular for him. The EHA, amongst other hockey families, friends, and even Abby's dance studio have pitched in to help. We would probably have lost our house if it hadn't been for the generosity. Generosity, they say, has carried them through some of the darkest days, along with grit, humility, and the unwillingness to quit that hockey families know all too well. We're gonna get better. We're the Turians, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Liz's recent tests have come back cancer-free, and she still has a year of tests to go through before the fight is over. For Tom, his oncologist believes that his cancer is curable. But Tom's biggest regret is that he didn't get checked sooner. Now, both of them hope that anyone who sees this story goes and gets regular cancer screenings. I was going to say, it's a lesson for all of us, and boy, the story just tugs on your heart, Dave. I know people out there listening are wondering if there's some way they can help the family. And you can. On our website now, fox61.com, you can find a link to a GoFundMe to hopefully uh, donate to their cause in this okay. difficult time. Well, we want them to keep fighting, and we are sending positive, healthy feelings and thoughts to the family tonight, Absolutely. for sure. All right, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.